the results were amazing at the idea of turning some of my blog short stories into audio form. So this is what you're getting. Hey there, it's TJ McQueen. Weird to say that because it's obviously just my pen name, but this is going to be something I call TJ Writes because I can't really come up with better than that right now. But this is going to be me just reading one of my short stories out loud and kind of just turning it into an audiobook style just so people who don't want to take the time to actually read my stories on my blog can just do the laundry, do the dishes, grab a snack, and just listen to the story. I apologize that I am sick. My voice is not great. But let's go ahead. This is going to be something that I've already posted to my blog. I figured I'll test it out with this story and then continue the series and the rest of what I write with this story out loud if it works. This story is called The Pre-Existence. It is the introduction into the series I wanna turn it into. And I will go ahead and start reading. It's not your typical short story, but it will turn into one. Each individual has their own belief system, their own faith on the greater gods of this world or lack thereof for some. We all have our theories about our time here on this beautiful planet of Earth. Some believe your body is the shell of your soul, that your spirit remains to haunt the living. Some souls are believed to go to heaven with the Christian God or to hell with Satan, the devil himself. Some souls are reborn unto a new life, unbeknownst to the previous. Some believe our bodies and souls are one and the same, those with the reliance that once our last breath has been exhaled, we merely do not exist any longer. That's it. So much speculation on the future that will eventually hit us all, but there is a percentage that discuss before our time here in these skin shells. I don't mean before our time as in when dinosaurs or cavemen first discovered fire. I'm talking about our souls existing and interacting before we were even born. The pre-existence, the opposition to life after death. Take a moment, soak that in. You okay? Good. What if we could remember watching from above, or whatever it is that you believe, before we existed down here? Watching our ancestors' lives unfold, spending time with them before their own time, spending time with those we will never get to know while we breathe oxygen into our lungs. I've always felt this connection to spirits. I don't know if that is so much the right term, but essentially people who have passed. These deceased I feel a bond to. I never got to meet in this life. I'm going to sound crazy on this one. I don't know why I'm starting with it, but my sister had a friend pass away in high school. I was much younger, probably still elementary school, but I had this urge to write letters to him and talk to him. You sent letters to someone that is dead? I can hear your concern, but yes, I did. I kept them in a hidden folder because I knew it was crazy. His death affected me and I didn't even know him. My uncle was killed when he was only a child. He was my dad's younger brother. Obviously, I never got to meet him. It was when my dad was a child as well, but I always felt something about him, like he is deep within my heart in a way that someone you truly know and love is. How can I feel that if I have never known him? My mom's dad passed away to cancer when she was only a teenager. Again, I never got to meet him. And this is the one that really gets me. My entire life, I could not understand how I felt so entirely close to this man I never met. I feel his presence at most times. He is my comfort when I am scared. I can envision him when I need. I've always known our bond. I explain this to myself as having known my uncle and grandpa before I was born. I don't care how crazy that sounds. It's something sacred and real. I have this deathly phobia of snakes. You can't even imagine how terrified I am of those slithering demon creatures. It's absolutely unexplainable how I came unto this fear. I'm the only one I know in my bloodline, except my grandpa that passed. He had this fear. I can imagine it. There we are in my head. I imagine sitting together. I envision me as a little girl in my idea, and he's teaching me all the grandpa stuff I need to know before I am born to his eldest daughter and enter the real world. I hear him in my head, before my departure and 
saying for the hundredth time, remember, snakes are bad. Don't trust them. They are the worst. Therefore, I was born with this fear that I can't remember being instilled to my soul. What do you think you brought with you from your pre-existence? What do you believe before your time here came? That is it for the introduction to the pre-existence. I will be continuing this. However, the rest will be completely fiction and just made up from random stories. It's just creative writing. However, this was very real to me. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, go ahead and let me know. I need to know that this works. Otherwise, I'm not doing it again because I don't feel like I'm the best reader. Thank you so much for listening if you made it this far. And I will see you next time if there is one.